We lost people in all directions, and I am not interested in antagonizing people who may have voted Conservative or NDP or Green. Not only is that not my style, for us right now, that is a bad political strategy. Our party is at its best when we are a big tent, when we are the home for people with many different views. So we have to rise above partisanship, and we have to be the kind of party that people want to be a part of again. As the father of uh, two young daughters who are here with me today, I want everyone in this province to have that same shot at success. But for far too many, that basic bargain that says hard work will pay off feels like a distant dream. And Doug Ford's cuts in chaos are simply making things worse for families. But we can assume that opposing Doug Ford will be enough for our party to win in 2022. We have to build a new and modern party. And we will win, not because of their weakness, but because of our strengths as Liberals. If you believe, like me, that we need an economy in Ontario that's prosperous, because we support our entrepreneurs and their success, but when we create that prosperity, it is broadly shared. It is broadly shared and we have fairness in our society, then you know we need to win. And if you believe, if you believe in an education system, if you believe in an education system at the primary, secondary, and post-secondary level, that truly enables every single young woman and man to go as far in life as their talent and effort will take them. You know that Ontario Liberals need to win the next election campaign. This decision is about the future of Ontario. And we are at a critical moment. Ontarians have lost trust in Doug Ford. And in the next two years, they will take a close look at us. And when they do, they must see a party with a new face, a new voice, and new ideas for the future. Our party is rooted in the history of Ontario, with a strong record for shaping our province. We have a responsibility to ensure our families and our communities are better. One of the things that we need to talk about and that we need to understand as a party and that we acknowledge as to why we lost in the last election is that we weren't listening to people. We stopped listening to Ontarians. We didn't connect with them. We came across as, as a party that knew better than everybody else. So we need to find a way to get in touch with what people are asking us to do, and we need to lead the way. We can't be afraid to stand for what's right. We can't be afraid to know and to listen to Ontarians and what they're telling us.